Hey guys, so this is a quick status update on the carnivore diet and intermittent fasting. All right, so it's been a few weeks since I first started the intermittent fasting and the carnivore diet. And after the last video, I, I was so happy that I lost the 10 pounds that I didn't stick to it. I started messing, monkeying with it. And so um, I didn't gain weight, but I, I stopped losing weight. It basically stayed the same. And, then, and cheating doesn't involve much in, in terms of uh, a lot of carbs. It typically includes eating just the bread and a sandwich, uh, a little bit of ice cream here and there. You know, little things that you don't think add up to very much but because it introduces sugar back into the diet it, uh, it really stopped the, the weight loss so once I got serious I lost an additional four pounds and so it just goes to show that a little bit of carbs goes a long ways as far as gaining weight back now some changes that I've experienced is that my pants are a bit looser so running around without a belt is not an option anymore I have also found that overall, if I cheat on the carnivore diet portion, then what ends up happening is that uh, I feel hungrier anyways. So it kind of is self-defeating. In other words, cheating uh, undoes everything that you've done because it, it, it's counterproductive. Because um, just sticking to the, to the carnivore diet makes you, um, it staves off the hunger so that you, you, don't, you can go for longer without eating and thus it's naturally a, what would you call the intermittent diet on its own without you having to do much more. But if you mess around and eat car carbs of any sort, then it just, you know, backfires on you. So that's pretty much it. So I gotta stop messing around and get serious and uh, come back with some, some really uh, serious or good results. I'll, uh, I'll come back and report to you in about two weeks.